Today, I'm going to look at a cross lock. This is a cross lock. Um, to be honest, I took it off my patio door because I can't go out and buy any locks and I wanted to practice on one. So I undid a couple of screws, took it off my patio door, which is now open, and I'm going to have a go at picking this. A cross lock, as you can see, the keyway is shaped like a cross, and so is the key itself. So you'd think it was four times more difficult than, um, you know, like a, a single like a mountain valley key. That's what I call them. So let's have a look at the lock itself and how it works. And the keys normally only go in one way. Okay, so I found my way in with that one. Um, and let's have a look at the workings inside this. It's really quite nice. As I turn it, the cam starts to turn inside. It turns, and I'm going to try and show this way so that you can see what happens when it opens up. Okay, it's a sort of it's a sort of a deadlock, except it's on a, a different sort of cam. It, it, it slides out in a in a semicircle. So another look inside to see what happens when I turn the key. All those cams start to work. And the only difference is between this and what I would call a normal tumbler uh, lock, a pin lock, is that this has three or four sets of pins. Um, now, as it happens, this particular key has one flat area here, which means that there are actually no pins on the, th on the fourth keyway inside. So, if we look on either side of the key, I can see one, two, three, and on this side, probably one, two, three, Eight, maybe four, one, two, three, four pins inside. So what you have to do is pick the pins in all directions. So now I'm going to mount this up and have a go. And uh, I'll try and explain as I go along. Here we are. So I'm set up in the vise. open, closed. Now, the thing is about this particular lock is that the key needs to go around one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and then the fourth quarter before the key will come back out again. So, in actual fact, when I'm picking it, as you see, it doesn't come out here. It doesn't come out here, there, no, only at the last point. So when I'm picking it, I need to pick it four times to get the key back out again, or the key won't even go in. So I need to pick it one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and then all the way around. So I probably won't do that, because when I've done it once, it will be sufficient to show how it's done, if I can do it. So I'm just going to do it one quarter and then put it back. So I'm going to try first with um, a rake. I'm going to get in with a... This is called a, I think this is called a city rake uh, because it's uh, supposed to be the... Um, skyline of a city, you know, houses, skyscrapers, anyway, I think that's what it's called. All these different tools have different names depending on what you see in them. 
diamonds, half diamonds, hollow diamonds, snowmen. Oh, and there we are. We are, we are moving. I'm not going to go all the way around because then I have to pick it four times. So you can see that it has been picked once. But if I'm going to open the lock, I'm going to have to pick it four times. That'll be a very boring video. Um, I also know that Gozo makes a, a tool which will go in and pick all three or four sides at the same time. I don't have one, so that's the way to do it. Um, I'm going to put this back at my patio now and uh, relax for the rest of the afternoon.